Today I'm going to talk about how to run a dual channel, a two channel, uh, Leslie. Um, how to run it using a mini mixer as the preamp. Um, any mini mixer will do. This is an old Behringer I had laying around just to show you this. But um, uh, lots of companies make these. They come with a variety of channels. But all you really need is that two channels have volume and EQ and that they have the same input, the quarter inch input. Here, the three, four, five, six, we're not going to use them. So, the first thing we do is we're going to connect up our mixer to the fish fix controller. So we have left and right are the outputs and that's going to go in. I'm going to make uh, left the main input the, the um, rotary channel and right is going to be the aux channel. Then we're going to uh, take the board and strike it. We'll just turn everything down so that we don't make any um, offensive noises while we're getting our initial setting. Then on our inputs, we're going to pan channel 1 all the way to the left and channel 2 all the way to the right. So 1 becomes the main channel and 2 becomes the aux channel. These two channels you won't use. So now I'm plugging uh, these two inputs. And if you're going to use something that only has one output, a modern keyboard or something like that, um, I use this little Y connector. But you can use uh, a one cable that is a Y itself. It just has to be mono, just um, tip sleeve to two mono channels. These both being also tip and sleeve, not balanced, not ring tip sleeve. Because sometimes those cables will uh, split the ring and the tip to uh, different ends. So you want that both sides are identical. Now both channels are getting an identical signal from whatever your instrument is. So let's power up. We turn on the mixer. We put our main up to unity, which here is a notch at zero, but whatever a, a, a mid point, the starting point of using it. Then on channel one and two, we'll take those up to the same unity point. And then we'll dial in a little bit of the trim gain to get uh, to get the meter jumping. Just a bit. Just up to well here, smart zero. Um, so that this can be turned up and down later if you need to and these can be adjusted too just so that they're registering so that you, you can hear them if you want to cut the base in the stationary channel um, essentially working like a crossover you pull the low back on whichever channel you want to cut the base on if you want to cut the volume going to it you cut that or where you set this uh, initial gain will be lower you get the blend you want for the two channels usually something like that going to your Leslie connector this 9 pin goes to the Leslie this also works with the 10 pin I mean 11 pin sorry the 11 pin works the same way now your one input can be sent to the two channels of the Leslie and you can adjust their mix you can adjust the equalization so you don't need any kind of crossover because what is a crossover but a volume and equalization change and now you have a kind of an unlimited control on how you want it to sound because you can cut it you can keep it down you can turn it up find the balance that you want between the two channels one channel is going to be um, more high end because uh, the reason for two channel Leslie's was to uh, so that uh, sometimes so that flutes wouldn't go through the rotors uh, because they got a little garbled up or uh, you know multi voiced Hammonds uh, would go into a a uh, multi channel Leslie in order to make um, uh, to make um, the sound a little more I guess realistic 
Um, this is kind of for you know, church organ sounds. But if you play rock music, if you're playing a, a modern keyboard or a guitar, um, you're probably just going to have one input. It's probably going to be quarter inch. And you're probably going to want to sound less sweet and more mean. So that's how it works. Um, this way, you power up your Leslie using this preamp. These things are cheap. They can be had new for 50 ish dollars. This is uh, used for I don't know what, uh, for very little money. Um, they can be. Um, it's a little less uh, crucial as far as your uh, your maker and your country of origin because it's not like a studio mixer where you really need to be whisper quiet and just and uh, you know completely um, colorful in tone. The Leslie's going to color everything. Your instrument's going to be colorful. You just got to get it turned up a little bit. So, thank you for watching.